sticks and stones may break my bones, but love hurts every time. It's the constituent of mankind. Somebody tell me whether I signed the contract for this job. or pointing their fingers at this slob for the pain of love has me unorganized. Leaving me open for another attack. It's funny how when my path is clear, the obstacles I attract. It's funny how when the path is clear, the backwards actions I exact. The one girl I want is out of reach like the stars outside the breach. I sit in love's class, mouth open at the lessons it can teach. Uh, pressure building up. I'm losing feeling, but... My name's Edwin Calderon. I'm doing this mural right now. Tense Tillman, Elementary Middle School in Baltimore. Right. Get the power of the youth together so we can organize, get bigger than just me and you. you know, really expand on this. Myself, being an abstract artist, I've been doing this since I was little. This is all I want to do. I'm chasing my dream right now. I just graduated last Saturday, so it's time to really make moves out here. Do something for Morgan State and bring a lot of people up in the Baltimore area, DC area. Everything around here, we branch out. Keep fighting, trusting my pen to keep on writing. Feel like the world on my shoulders gotta breathe. Can't ever let them doubt me. I gotta make them believe. Uh, I know the times are kind of hard, but keep fighting. I know the world left you scarred, but keep fighting. Cause you ain't weak, you made it here because you strong. And if you ever doubted it, then listen to the song. I know you're dealing with some pain, but keep fighting. I know it's hard to maintain, but keep fighting. So, this is the kid that we're doing this for, James Blackson. I mean, he died. He was five years old. He got killed by a drunk driver right on the street outside. And uh, his little sister needs reconstructive face surgery. So, all this that we're doing is basically for her and him. And, um, and this is basically what it's all about. See a nigga cry so you wipe your face. Gotta struggle for his kids and his family. After taxes, he really got a salary. What he do, 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 what he keep fighting, keep working, keep drinking. Man, we only got a little bit of time left for him. Cause the unveiling is 9.30 tomorrow. So we gotta go and get a issue with the unveiling. And we gotta be here at 9. So I'm here trying to bust my butt. Get everything. Ready. for the kids, goddammit. Drop his daughter or she ain't too far. Got a bag lunch and she don't stop. So, things almost done. You know, we gotta still call on the infantry. So, everything's almost done, but still, we needed the extra hand. So, bam! <laughs> Gotta make that paper, gotta make that cash Turn his back to the world just in case they wanna stab Just in case they wanna tag Just in case they wanna grab yeah. uh, I know the times are kinda hard but keep fighting I know the world Look at these hands These hands Like, I remember I was reading something on um, saying that an artist, like, take Edwin, for example, he can dream up this room and drink and think to himself, there's a painting on the other side of that door, and when he opens the door, there'll be a painting. And if he remembers how that painting looks, he can wake up and paint that painting. So, hmm. basically, he's bringing what's in his private dreams into the Shared dream of the world. It reminds me of something that uh, I saw online the other day. He said, um, how, how can I put this? So, this lady was pretty much explaining how things go from your subconscious to your conscious when you write them down. Uh, because it's kind of like you don't think about everything that's, that's around you on a normal basis until you're actually exposed to it. 
So let's say you buy a red car or you get an iPhone or you pierce your ears or whatever. You notice everybody with a red car, iPhone, and pierced ears. You notice everybody with those things because it went from your subconscious to your conscious mind. And the best way to go and bring things from your subconscious to your conscious mind is writing them down. So if you're going to say, I want to be, I want to be fifteen dollars richer, right? You can say that, but what actually puts it into motion is when you write it down because then you're going to notice different opportunities that will come into play that will allow you to be $15 richer. I was watching this movie called Waking Life. You have to watch the movie. It's an animated series, but it's like, it's basically about waking up and it's like a dream come true. Like, you know, like it's a dream. What's that movie where they go into other people's dreams? It starts with their eye. Inception. Similar to that, yeah, but not like way, way, way deeper, like way deeper. I'm so, afraid to go pretty deep, deep, and I was like, yeah. and it this was years is making ago. me feel it a little awkward. It was years ago that they made this deep like, content. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes it's not about what you're doing; it's about how you're doing it. You just gotta work to the best of your ability and know that the things that you do on an everyday basis are worth more than worth more than just what's popular right now. You gotta do things for the future generations to come up after you. You have to work hard and really acknowledge that you're a leader by working hard. And first and foremost, you have to go and understand that as a leader, you have to lead by example and do the things that's right and not just talk about what you can be doing, but actually do things. www.truthbetoldonline.blogspot.com. Holla at me. So tell me why McDonald's is selling a bag of ice. Look at this. McDonald's bag of ice. Mm-mm. 